So here's the new water pump. This is for a 671. This is the drive that goes into the blower. So there's a gasket that goes there. There's a big O-ring that goes here where it goes into the block. And then this is the intake on it here. So it comes with all the new gaskets that you need. They don't put the studs in it for you. You gotta put the studs in or if yours has bolts. And then you'll reuse the plug, the uh, pipe plug at the bottom. This is a brand new one. I didn't wanna, it's not a reman. Um, I didn't wanna just buy a rebuild kit because I don't know what necessarily, my seal's bad, but I haven't been into it, so I don't know what's going on inside there. <clears throat> it's of unknown history to me, so I feel much more comfortable having a new one on there. And then I can get a rebuild kit after I get this one apart and see what it needs and rebuild it and have it as a spare. There's where the water pump's located. One of the best features of a silver sides is that this bumper, which would kind of be in your way, just swings out of the way. And then you're just looking right at what you got to get to. Comes in really handy when you're replacing like a starter, oil cooler, that kind of stuff. So I'm draining the coolant. I just opened up the little, took the pipe plug out of the box. It's gonna be okay. Last time I did it, it was just hitting that beam. It made a mess. So this time I got it going in. I'm using a hose to guide it in there. <laughs> I only have to drain it down to here, so I'll do it this way and then I'll put a little out of the radiator and I'll be good without making a mess. I loosen this, that'll lift up. Feels kind of nasty. Got a rubber mallet. Of course, I'm hammering on the piece that I don't want to break. <laughs> I'm not hitting hard. <laughs> so is there enough thread to, to double nut this here? No, of course not.
gets in. Okay. I think we're just hung up on the studs now. The corrosion around the studs. Tap it or you want to spray it? You know, tap it in there. Well, the new pump has. Oh, well, I might want those studs again. Yeah. <laughs> Tap this back down and maybe push some of the shit out of there. Can you give me just a little, I just want to put a little into it. Alright, that's good, that's good. Just keep it from, you know, or go back and then come yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Let's put some more soapy. This was the good side coming up. Let's go here. Going back down or yeah. uh down? Yeah, okay. this way. Here. It's hitting It's rubbing the outside edge right there. Wow. Yeah, it sounds pretty janky. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> the end play on it? Yeah. Yeah, that, that bearing was <laughs> tired of being. Well, that's why I was afraid of rebuilding it. I didn't know what was going to be going on inside there. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. You see that? Yeah, I'll hold the housing and you wiggle the. Not yeah. supposed to do that. Yeah, it's time. <laughs> it is time. But I could, I could see the the shiny in here. <laughs> yeah. Where where it's shiny in there is not supposed to be shiny. Awesome. I'm putting uh, thread sealant on the threads of the studs. Not really thread sealant, but it's Permatex, the right stuff. Not a ton. has a little crack in it um, but it seals an o-ring so it'll be okay but next time I get my hands on an extra one of these I'm gonna grab it these are the, the bolts that hold the water pump onto the blower and it's real important that those have those copper washers on them because otherwise they'll leak oil all over the place
So I gotta take the water pump back off. I put it on, I hadn't even filled it with antifreeze and it was leaking. I noticed that the O-ring looked a little bit small, the O-ring that goes to the block from what I'm used to seeing. And uh, that's where it's leaking at. So I'm gonna try to reuse the old one, which again, it's really not that old. I just put it on two months ago, so hopefully it'll seal fine. Um, but it sucks when you take something apart and you gotta put it back together. And then you put it together and then I don't know what I'm saying. Now you gotta take it apart again. Yeah. <laughs> At least I didn't fill it with antifreeze before I noticed it. Um, so my buddy Paul Collier up in Canada, um, he has a hub for us. And I worked out a deal with Paul where I'm gonna pay for it. Paul's giving me a crazy deal on it. And then we're gonna give it to George free of charge. So he'll have a hub where you don't have to pay for it. And then uh, Paul's coming to the bus rally in two weeks in Blyville, Arkansas. So he's gonna bring the hub with him and then George can come down to the bus rally and we'll, uh, we'll be able to get it to him there. So no shipping charges or anything and that'll be good. Out of the water, out of the so we're using a pump. I'll put it back in. Much easier than doing it by hand, and it does a pretty good job. I just got to hold the end of it. I had to grab the phone to record it and walked away, and it came out. But I don't really spill any this way. Got a little bit of crap floating in here, so I don't want to get it all. But the water pump's not leaking. That's a good sign. I only had to take it on and off three times. I bleed all the air out of the thermostat system here. So if I loosen this fitting, I don't want to take it all the way out, hopefully. You can see the air bubbles coming out. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's air coming out. In a minute, it's going to switch to coolant. I don't need to take it all the way out because once the coolant comes, it can have a little pressure behind it and it's hard to get back in and you spill some coolant. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's hissing a lot of air. And in a minute, it's gonna shoot a bunch of water cooling out.
bốc thử Sixty-nine miles of highway driving and I've been parked here for about 10 minutes and I see two tiny little drips under there um, so none of that massive three-foot puddle like I had last time <laughs> so my oil leak situation is fixed and I'm pretty confident that my cooling issue is fixed because of that water pump I think that how bad a shape the inside of that water pump was it wasn't being very efficient uh, I did get up to close to 200 at one point today, but I was climbing a big hill and I was going 60, almost 70 miles an hour. Um, yeah, it did real good. I, I wasn't on a highway. I was on back roads, but they were highway speeds, uh, 65 or so. And for the most part, I was running about 185, which normally I'd have been probably like one. It's And it's like 95 degrees today or something. It's real warm and humid. But uh, yeah, the bus did really, really well. I'm very, very happy. And that I don't see a big puddle under there is wonderful. We're going to back up here, get hooked up. There's his buffalo over there and his international that we followed him in with. Okay, well we got George as far as we could get him today. Uh, we got the left rear uh, tire on, one of them. There was a, one of the new studs had uh, kind of a little gall on it, I think from getting installed. So he was gonna clean the, the thread up on it just a little bit and then, uh, and then he'll put the other wheel back on it. But it's actually down sitting on the wheel uh on the left rear so that that side's all go we got the brake drum on brakes all adjusted uh we replaced the front brake hoses yesterday i probably didn't mention that the back ones he still has to do uh so he's gonna have good access to get in there and get to it right now um before he gets the hub on there and then like i said in the video earlier that we did find a hub that we're gonna get to him 
Um, I thought that'd be a nice thing to do. George is a great guy. Uh, you just hang out with him for a little bit and you feel like you've known him your whole life. Um, I, I feel bad, you know, I, I would say the tornado didn't do him any favors, but I guess it did spare the buses. So, I mean, they're there. Uh, but everything else is just a total disaster over there and they're going to get the bus moved and then knock the buildings down and then, you know, deal with rebuilding or whatever's going to happen there. Uh, I made it to my next location. I got a lot of things we're going to be doing on this bus, this uh, buffalo. Uh, it's very nice. It's probably the nicest buffalo I've ever seen. Um, a lot of, uh, it's got an oil leak, of course, because uh, it's a Detroit. Uh, and the fan hub, GM, that's an easy repair. Uh, we're going to look at the, we're going to replace thermostats. We're going to test the thermostats before we put them in there, though, just to make sure and see what the old ones come out at, too. Um, he's a little concerned with overheating issues with it, but it's a it's a big, heavy bus with an automatic transmission and probably still has the same factory radiator in it. So uh, they're, they're always going to have a little bit of cooling issues with them. We're going to do some stuff, I think, on his battery system. Um, you know, run the engine, see if it needs to get a tune up, that kind of stuff. It's supposed to have like 80,000 miles on the rebuild, I think. Um, and I would believe that the records that I think that he has that he got with the bus uh, and the previous uh, life that the bus had, it's not a real heavy used bus. It was used for uh, tours from, I think he said Richmond, Virginia down to Orlando or somewhere in Florida or something like that. Uh, and that's all it did. So that, that's not a real heavy, I think he said it's 800,000 miles on the, on the whole thing total. So that, that's, you know, most of these have millions. So that one's really good. So anyways, I'll be the next here, you know, at least two days, uh, maybe more. We'll see how it goes. And then uh, later in the week, I'm going to be meeting with Stu uh, from uh, Danger Marine. And uh, that should be a fun day, too. And that might have to interrupt this uh, this trip here, depending on how things go. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Enjoy the video. And uh, I'm at my next stop. Oh, and my bus performed great. The oil leaks are great. No, no oil leaks, uh, no coolant leaks. I did have to put that, I opened my big mouth last night about how easy a job that was going to be to change that, uh, water pump. And, you know, we had to fight to get the one end piece off. I tried really hard not to break anything, especially the piece that I, once I started pounding on the piece that I needed, I'm like, no, let me hit the pump. Cause I don't care if the pump cracks. Cause I'm not, I don't need that old pump anymore, but I needed that, that flange that comes off there. Um, so that's good. Uh, I think that was my heating issue. My cooling issue probably was that that water pump was really worn out. Uh, but anyways, I actually had to take it on and off three times. So I put it on the first time and it was leaking a little bit, took it off, decided that O-ring was no good. I put the old O-ring back on it. And when I put the old O-ring back on it, it dropped out of place and it was like, it was halfway where it needed to be. And luckily I didn't tighten it down because I would have cut that O-ring, but I noticed it. But after I had all the other bolts in, so then I had to take all the bolts back out, take it off, replace the O-ring put it on there and then that was the third time was the charm. Uh, so yeah, I fought that thing for probably two hours job to, you know, it should have been a 30 minute job. It took two hours. Um, that's, that's how it goes. So anyways, at the next job and we will have another video tomorrow full of lots of fun Detroit diesel and bus stuff.